So it's December 1st and let's talk about gaming. We will first talk a bit about the console sales as we have some idea of what is happening there. Then a bit about how the consoles are performing and then other news. Hey what is happening guys this is Orca from Orca's Gaming Corner and welcome to another week of gaming news. So it's been a few weeks both the PS5 and the Xbox Series X are out and now we are getting to hear about the sales at least from some places around the world. So what have we got? According to an analyst site VG Charts, the PS5 sold around anywhere from 2.1 million to 2.5 million combining the first days of launch in US and UK. And VG Charts also earlier mentioned that the estimated sales of the Series X and the Series S consoles put together on the first 24 hours is one point between 1.1 to 1.4 million units worldwide. We also got to know from PlayStation's Twitter account that PS5 is also their biggest console launch in the history of PlayStation, the title which was previously held by PlayStation 4. Now PS4 console launch was also the biggest console launch in the history of console gaming. So it in turn means that the PS5 is now the fastest selling console and also PS5 launch was the biggest console launch in the history of the entire console gaming. Wow, that is incredible. So as per sales, we know that the PS5 seems to be doing really well and the Xbox Series X and S seems to be doing well too in their own way. I mean. Taking into consideration the fact that the last generation Xbox One consoles really fared poorly, it's good to see some competition. Both consoles are doing pretty well and I would suggest picking up consoles as per your need, choice and logic. If you have friends on Xbox, go for it. If you have many people playing on the PlayStation in your region, go for the PlayStation because these things matter when you play online multiplayer. Now if you are more of a single player guy, then if your favorite games are on PlayStation, go for PlayStation. If it's on Xbox, get an Xbox. If you are one of the more value oriented customers and already own a PS4 or an Xbox One X, then wait. And also lastly, remember that the Xbox Series S is probably the worst of the lot. Try to avoid that console at all costs. It's better to wait and buy the Series X or the PS5 than the Series S. I'll talk about that a bit later and also do not forget the value of Game Pass. So let's move on to performance between the two consoles. So like I said earlier in my videos, the Series X is not performing as well as I thought it would at this point. You can watch my previous video about the Devil May Cry 5 performance on both the consoles up in the right hand side top corner. Also like, share and subscribe to my channel if you like the content here. As far as Watch Dogs is concerned, both perform equally so tie and on Dirt 5 the PS5 textures look way better so PS5 gets a win there. However. Uh, the developers of Dirt have of course said that they will be patching the Xbox Series X for that matter. So let's see what that does. Now Call of Duty Cold War is again more of a tie, more or less a tie because uh, in the high frame rate mode that is 120 FPS the PS5 performs better and in the ray tracing mode the Xbox performs slightly better. So you can give it like a tie. Now. The main problem at the moment is Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which I guess everyone is playing including me. So the game is beautiful, vast and open and it taxes your system a lot. So what we have here is clearly before the new patch 1.04, the PS5 was performing significantly better than the Xbox Series X. But now after the patch, the Series X is performing at par with the PS5. However there is a small thing that is they have actually reduced the resolution of the series x to match the frame rate of ps5 so maybe now it's become like xbox is slightly more consistent than the ps5 at giving 60 fps however the problem is the resolution drops drastically to somewhere around 1080p or slightly higher which is like really bad because on the PS5 it doesn't go below 1440p to hit that 60fps and on that note 
the Xbox Series S drops to 720p to achieve 60fps. Now this was the exact reason I told earlier to avoid Series S at all costs because if a game runs at 720p in the first month of launch what will happen later i mean how long will this console last and why do i still have to play games at 720p in 2020 this is not 2006 where 720p or hd was the thing for xbox 360 and the ps3 so try to avoid the series s at all costs but we know that the Series X will get patched and performance enhancements according to Microsoft. So we'll just have to wait and see that. But I'm not very happy this time around with the Series X because you know what I was hoping? I was hoping to skip upgrading my PC and get a Series X with Game Pass and a PS5. Because all of that still costs a lot less than making a brand new PC with a very good GPU and a very good CPU and RAM and SSDs. That will cost much more than the combined price of two consoles. But now with the performance of Series X lacking, we'll just have to wait and see how this goes. Because right now, I'll tell you what, my 2070 Super give me, gives me around 60 FPS on Assassin's Creed Valhalla at around 90% of 4K resolution. So I think it performs way better than the Series X and the PS5. So I'm not very very impressed. If I go to 1440p, the FPS is constantly at around 70s. So they have to fix this thing about the Series X where they're saying it will take time. Why does it take time? I mean, I don't understand why are people fine with getting half-baked products from their brand of choice whether it's the xbox or the playstation this is absolute bullshit so i'll stop right there with the console thing and let's move on to some other news for the month of december we have just cause 4 rocket league arena and warm worms rumble and i'm not sure how many of you like these games but these are the games for playstation plus but I enjoyed Just Cause 3, so I'm looking forward to Just Cause 4. I don't know about the other two. Then we have a couple of uh, game releases on December. The biggest being Cyberpunk 2077. I have to play it on day one. So I have to finish Assassin's Creed Valhalla soon. Before I dive into Cyberpunk 2077. And also Immortal Phoenix Rising is launching on December the 3rd. I might check that out sometime or later but i don't know why ubisoft is launching a game there in, just before cyberpunk 2077 i think it'll just get overshadowed 10th and 3rd and oh by the way there is game awards also on the 10th i think vg game awards is also on the 10th so we'll also have to watch out for that so i'm playing assassin's creed valhalla and i am loving it so far it feels like skyrim and it's a lot better than assassin's creed odyssey in my view and it's a lot of fun and it has so many things to do so 60 dollars well deserved also what are you guys playing and how many of you are getting cyberpunk 2077 on day one let me know in the comments below as it's a free upgrade whether you get it on the ps4 or the xbox series x you will get a free upgrade to the ps5 and the series x i mean sorry the xbox one you'll get an upgrade to the series x or the ps5 whichever will be the choice of your console of next gen with that we come to the end of this week's gaming video like share and subscribe to my channel orcas gaming corner and i'll see you next week with some more gaming news